Hey there guys, this is Justin and you are watching the Winbar Club. And today I have an awesome 2 vs 2 replay sent in by Rusi is God or Russ is God. Sorry, gamer names are sometimes a pain in the butt, so I hope one of those pronunciations was correct, but he is going to be playing as the dwarves, his ally is playing as the empire, and they are going to be taking on the warriors of chaos and the beastmen on the stir river map. Now to get the formalities out of the way, uh, community battles is a series where you guys, the viewer, can send me in your epic replays and I'll put them up on the channel. Uh, so if you have an awesome Total War replay, it doesn't have to be in Total War Warhammer, shoot it to me in an email. It's twreplays at gmail.com. And of course, that information's always in the description and at the end of the video. And here we are on the battle map. And immediately you can see the Dwarven and Empire armies here preparing to move forward. Up front for the Dwarves, we've got two organ guns and a cannon, followed by several long beards. I see... Five up front there, three thunderers behind them, two more or one more long beard in the back as reserve with two miners with blasting charges, and then he has decided to bring Ungrim Iron Fist here, the Slayer King, and to his right here, we've got a Master Engineer. There that guy is, and the Empire here, we've got Balthasar Gelt up here in the air. And let's see, what else do they have? We've got some great swords in the back. I see two of them there. An Empire Captain, Halberds, uh, and we've got some swordsmen. It looks like two steam tanks here, which will be interesting. Another Halberdiers, and is that it for the Empire? That looks like that might be it. Spent a lot of money on those two steam tanks. But anyways, we'll take a look across at the other side of this battlefield. Ah, and here's what I was missing. You can see here these Outriders being chased off by two Chaos Knights. And it looks like they actually are going to evade these Knights for the moment. Oh no, a few of them getting caught there. So we'll see if those Outriders survive. But there are two Chaos Knights over here. And it looks like at least one of the Outriders is going to escape. This other one might still. Although for the moment they are starting to rout. We'll see if these guys get cornered up here. Or if they're going to fire off some shots. Nope, they're going to run away. And that one unit was chased out of the map. So even though not too much damage was done to them, that is it. So that is no good. An Outrider lost right at the beginning. But over here, for Chaos, we've got several Chaos Marauders up front. Uh, two Forsaken behind. And then, what's this guy here? Chaos Sorcerer, Lord. He's a Fire Lord there. We've got two Chaos Spawn. And I believe I already said these two Forsaken. And then obviously those two Chaos Knights. And back here it looks like we've got two more Forsaken and a Chaos Troll. In the back for the Beastmen, we've got... Wow. Looks like four of those Bray Shaman and Malagor the Dark Omen here. And there he is. And up front, they have got a Spear Herd and several Gore Herds. And then a Razor, Razor Gore Herd. I don't know why I said that like that. Looks like they've got two of them, followed up by some archers. And they've already brought up their Saigor here. And up front, wow, yeah, he used all of those Shaman to raise up Saigor. So he's got four of them, one of which just got knocked on its butt by a cannon shot there. You can see those cannon rounds flying in. So this will be an interesting battle. If we get an overhead view, you can see the dwarves moving up. The long beards there. It looks like the Beastmen and Chaos are pretty content to sit in the forest over there. Most of their units are hidden at the moment, so you have to remember in the actual batter, battle, I cannot talk today. Words are difficult, guys, but I don't feel like redoing this over stupid things like that, so I'm just gonna suck. 
Uh, but yeah, most of these guys are, are hidden right now, so... Perseus God and the Empire, they, they do not know completely what is in those trees. And look at that, look at the blood just splatter the ground under the water here. As these guys get hit by the rocks from the Saigor. Poor dwarfs moving forward. Oh man, that was a horrific shot there. Yeah, so that's what all those brain shaman were for. Here comes another rock. Let's see if we can catch it. Doing a little bit of damage to these miners. Actually, most of those guys are going to get back up. What a cinematic march forward here. Here comes another rock. <laughs> those poor dwarves getting splattered. And their blood is all over these plants. So, yeah, that is no good. Where is the Empire? Are they marching right behind? The Empire has moved up onto this far left hill. It looks like they're going to march all the way around here. We'll see how that turns out. We've got these organ guns still firing and that cannon. And over on this flank, these Chaos Knights, whoops, went through the ground there, are still in the trees. And we're going to try to get to one of the guys at the front of their unit. You can see the unrouted unit of Outriders here. And we're going to see, are they going to take a charge? Nope, they're going to run away. So these Chaos Knights are not going to catch them. So now the Chaos Knights are moving forward, and it looks like they're going to be intercepted by some miners, which they are going to plow into. They're going to try to run away now, which should give these Outriders a good chance to get some shots on them. And there you can see that happening. So these guys, looks like they didn't lose any units, but they're taking some damage there. And they are immediately going to get a charge into the back of this Longbeard unit. And here... We've got the Warriors of Chaos charging in to these dwarf long beards in defense. And those Chaos Knights still running amok, getting some more hits on these miners, and the Outriders are trying to take them down. Back here, one unit of the Organ Gun has routed. These steam tanks still doing some damage, but it looks like there's. A tiny assault going on here. They have not fully committed, so... Only some of the Warriors of Chaos have attacked here. You can see these Chaos Marauders here duking it out with the dwarves. Blood going everywhere. And let's see what else is going on. It looks like we've got more... Units of Chaos moving up, and those miners with their blasting charges are doing some work on these Chaos Marauders. We've got those Thunderers in the back, and these Corallers should be opening fire here, if they haven't already, on these incoming Chaos Marauders. If we take a look from their point of view, you can see, yeah, all these guys getting taken down by missile fire. And we've got more charges going in, and here comes the Chaos Spawn. These Empire Outriders here. Still moving around the flank. Being backed up by miners. And that's the main part of this battle right now. Another big charge here from Chaos Spawn. And the Dwarven line is just trying to hold and allow these Thunderers to do some work on these guys. So remember, the Thunderers and the Quarrelers are in the back there. And they should be firing into these Chaos Spawn and taking some of them down. Yep, we've got one model down over here. And it looks like we've got some long beards moving into flank now. Cannon just took out one of those guys. So this is definitely a bloody fight. And the, the dwarves on this flank are actually holding in well. It looks like he's sending up a long beard to intercept those blasting charges are going to do some damage to some of his own troops these long beards are going to intercept this chaos marauder and over here the beastmen have engaged devolve has been call called on these uh, empire troops here we've got the gore herds in combat these halberdiers 
Which I said wrong the first time. You can see here. Yeah, these units are gonna rip up these great swords, but actually the great swords might do okay here. We've got a traitor kin called on them. We've got the Razgor herd there fighting it out, and I'm just trying to show you guys some of this combat. But for the moment, most of the beastmen are still uh, not engaged there. We've got some more halberdiers over here. That Outrider is still alive. Looks like there's Chaos Knights in the back. And it looks like the dwarves, for the moment, have held in the river. You can see all the carnage from that fight. Chaos is over here regrouping. And they're going to have to regroup quickly. We've got these Chaos Knights coming. Look at how bloody these guys are running by. Those steam tanks are moving up, but the dwarves are coming over here to where they are going to have to fight the beastmen. And for the moment, it looks like this combat is the main combat going on here. And man, do the beastmen units look epic. These poor men here kind of exploding. It looks like Balthazar Gelt himself has landed here. There he is, helping out with this. Still got these great swords moving forward. Uh, they're definitely doing some damage, but at the same time, they are getting pummeled. Oh, wow, they took him down there. So it looks like they're actually going to push forward here. Here we've got some of the archers engaged. They should be taken down rather quickly, but they are getting backed up rather quickly as well. Look at how big that captain looks. I believe that actually is the captain. It should be. Maybe the captain of that unit. Oh no, the Empire captain is in there. Awesome. You can see the dwarves here. And it looks like we've got these chaos trolls charging in. I'll give you guys an overhead of the battle. A lot of action happening on this flank at the second. All these Cygors are still back here. Uh, Balthazar Gelt is up in the air again. Over here, the remnants of this fight. It looks like Chaos has regrouped, and that cannon is doing some major damage to them. This Longbeard unit just routed, but there are two steam tanks nearby, and with how pummeled these units are, I feel like those steam tanks should be able to handle it. Doing a lot of damage here. They've got miners backing them up. Uh, these Outriders need to come back into the battle here. But right here is where the main combat is happening. We've got more combat going on. These trolls still doing a lot of damage to the dwarves they are fighting. But it looks like they are getting shot at by thunderers from right back there. You can see those guys standing. And the blood is just piling up in this battle. Down goes some of those trolls getting plucked away by the Thunderers. So once again, we'll take a look from above. Uh, the Empire units are getting pretty beat up here. There's still a lot of units back in the trees here. And it looks like we've got that Chaos Sorcerer running around here causing some damage. Quarrelers aren't going to stand much of a chance against him. Of course, the miners are coming in. These steam tanks are still alive. We've got long beards coming back from routing. And that cannon is still firing. These outriders still not in combat, so they need to try to get back in. I was just checking to see if anything else was missing. We've got a lot of chaos units over here that seem to have come back from routing. Uh, for the moment, they are not being brought back into the battle. So it looks like the main fight is just a giant slaughter going on right here. We've got this steam tank into the mix now. We've got more of the gore herds coming in. And getting just pummeled by the steam tank in melee. 
take a screenshot of that for the cover of this video. There we go. You can see these guys still fighting it out. It looks like back here we've got Saigor doing some work here, fighting the Halberdiers, and they're actually going to run away. And it looks like that Empire Captain is duking it out by himself with this Saigor. And he took him down. This man is a boss. Looks like the other Saigor is not very happy about it. He's now backed up by great swords. Are they going to move forward with it? We've got the Lord of the Beastmen here. So it's going to be a fight between the captain and this lord. And he's actually taking damage very quickly here. A spell has been cast healing up these Empire troops. And the rest of the battle, it looks like over here the Beastmen have started to rout. Those Outriders are finally coming back in. We've still got that Chaos Sorcerer running around. These steam tanks came in and did work though. Here comes the trolls once more. And this time they're coming right for the thunderers. They do not want to be shot up by these guys again. And that should be the end of that thunderer unit unless these steam tanks manage to rout the trolls first. And they're going to come in and angrily try to stop that. Let's see what was going on over here again. We've still got several of these cygors back here. Several gore herds, and that Empire Captain is still at full health thanks to some healing. Looks like he's going to tr come try to get behind some of his own line. You can see the steam tanks coming in here. So from overhead, it looks like the back of the battlefield is now quiet. And the final fight is going to happen up in these woods. Some of these Forsaken charging in. And why are they... Ah, there are some dwarves there. I was confused. I was like, why is the Saigor attacking this ally? So now it's the Saigors versus these steam tanks. And the steam tanks should win that in melee. So we've got this huge battle of the giants here. Machine versus beast. These tanks are absolutely covered in blood. Now the question is, I haven't actually looked into it. I wonder if these models just get bloody as they get hit. Or if they have to actually get into melee to get blood on them. Because uh, a tank bleeding is an interesting concept. But you can see these steam tanks, although they are taking some damage, they are doing more damage to the Saigors. And elsewhere on the battle, I don't see too much going on. It looks like everything else is routed. We've still got a Master Engineer back here. Those Outriders are mopping up the Bray Shaman. Uh, there's another one of them. These Thunderers are still firing into this fight, which is helping. And it looks like this steam tank actually is getting beat by the Saigor. There were three Saigors here, though. This one is doing fine, so we'll see. It looks like one of these steam tanks is about to go down. And there he went. We'll see if the Thunderer fire can take down this unit, and if this steam tank can hold out. This steam tank's going to take heavy damage quickly. The Outriders are firing in now, too. Still got this cannon unit back here. I wonder if it's probably out of ammunition. And here comes the Empire Captain once more into the fray. Looks like he's got those Thunderers around him. And wow, he charged in and just took out that Saigor. This man is the Saigor Slayer. What a beast. You can 
see the health on that unit. He's taken out the other steam tank, so it's going to be the Empire Captain here versus the Saigor and the surrounding men. And we'll see how he does. I think he's going to manage to take down this Saigor one more time. The Outriders are charging in to help him out. And it looks like he's pulling back for the moment. Oh, nope. He is routing. And there he went. The man finally fled. So, what do we have left here? We have a Master Engineer. We've got some great swords coming back. And it looks like back here... We've still got some raiders. They're going to be hard to deal with. So this battle literally is to the last man. It looks like the beastmen have survived for the moment. The steam tanks are down, but so are the Saigors. These thunderers are going to be firing. That master engineer is still firing. And he's actually going to manage to route that one Bray Shaman. Thunderers are probably out of ammunition. So here we go once more into the fray. These guys, oh man, they are getting massacred. But I see some swordsmen in the distance. And here these guys come. That master engineer... It's getting charged. We're getting some support from these swordsmen. And let the bloodshed continue. The beastmen units look like they are about to rout here. We've got some very violent combat going on. Is that it? That is it. Pyrrhic victory there. And that is definitely one deserving of that title. None of those armies had less or more than 200 men remaining. Uh, all actually decently small armies. But that was by far an amazing epic 2v2 that went down to the last man so thank you for sending that in good game to everybody who played in that that was awesome and remember guys if you guys have epic replays send them in and i will commentate them but i hope you guys enjoyed that one that was definitely a spectacle so once again thank you guys for sending that in and subscribe for more i'll see you all next time